detail. Curtain. Post the colors. Detail, he's at her. Detail, order, arms. Detail, he's at arms. Detail, order, arms, parade, rest. On November 1st, 1950, 65 years ago, two would-be assassins approached the Blair House, one from the west and one from the east, and attempted to shoot their way through the front doors of the Blair House with the sole intent of assassinating the President of the United States. The ensuing gun battle with the Secret Service detail lasted approximately 58 and a half seconds and some 27 rounds of gunfire were exchanged. White House Police Officer Leslie Coldfelt was struck by three to four of the assailant rounds, and though mortally wounded, managed to fire a single shot that would bring an abrupt end to the assassination attempt. Officer Leslie Coldfelt would later succumb to his injuries approximately four hours later. To date, Leslie Coldfelt remains the only member of the United States Secret Service to sacrifice his life in direct defense of the president during an assassination attempt. So today, this morning, on this 65th anniversary, we gather here in this place to honor and to pay tribute to a great American hero who responded and answered the call of duty and paid the ultimate sacrifice for answering that call. Leslie Colfelt would never be forgotten. His name is etched in the stone walls at the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial located right here in Washington, D.C. But more importantly, etched in the minds and in the hearts of the men and women of the United States Secret Service. And to the family gathered here this morning, we will ensure you that we will never forget White House Police Officer Leslie Colfelt. Thank you, Chief Simpson, Deputy Director McGall, distinguished guests, colleagues, thank you all for being here today to honor Officer Kofelt. I also want to give a special acknowledgement to the members of the Kofelt family who are here today. Edgar Kofelt III, Edgar Lee Kofelt Jr., and Michael Dean Kofelt. Thank you for being with us as well. As we remember the ultimate sacrifice of Officer Leslie Kofelt, 
made 65 years ago, and as we honor his memory and heroism, I want to take this moment to put his sacrifice into perspective for all of us. When Officer Kofelt reported for roll call the morning of November 1st, 1950, he did not know he would not live to see another day. He did not think to himself, today, someone is going to try to assassinate the president. He was present for roll call just as he was any other day, just as you are right now. A few hours later, history would record that before he drew his last breath, he stopped the assassin. If not for the brave actions he took that day, history would be changed. This is the reality of the work we do. You are the ones that stand between our nation's leaders and those who want to cause them harm. The legacy of Officer Kofeld is this. Your constant vigilance and attention to detail is imperative. Yes, the hours are long and you are asked to sacrifice much. I realize that. However, this moment in history that we commemorate here today teaches all of us a valuable lesson. We can't afford to let our guard down ever. So I ask that every day when you are preparing for duty, remember the brave actions of Officer Leslie Kofeld. Be prepared. Be ready. Those we protect and this entire nation are depending on you. Thank you. And at the conclusion of this ceremony, uh, Randy Baumgartner advised me that uh, you can go into the uh, Officer Kofeld's room that is being dedicated to him later this afternoon. So please take advantage of that. Thank you. Let us now bow our heads in prayer. God, our Father, we come here this day on this solemn occasion to remember the life and the sacrifices of Officer Leslie Kofeld. Lord, we thank you for bringing him here that day. We thank you for calling him to service that day. And we remember that this day, the sacrifices he made. Today, on the 65th anniversary of his death, we recall his life, his commitment, and his dedication. Today, on the 65th anniversary of his death, we give thanks for all the men and women of the United States Secret Service for the calling that you have given to their individual callings, their vocations, to protect and to serve. Lord, we pray this day, as we do every day, that all the men and women of law enforcement return home safely to their loved ones. And we make this prayer today, as we do every day, as your loyal and faithful servants always call upon to do your will. In his name, let us pray. Amen. Tito, out of ten. Retire the colors. He's in. Arms. Outer. Arms. Detail. Dismissed. 